All right, so we have the details for the LR physical cell and cell juniors right here. So let's get started. Um, Before I do though, I gotta say that this unit's actually looking pretty good. But let's go over their details before their awakening, their extremes of the awakening that comes out on the 24th of May. So that's in a couple of days. For his extremes of the awakening, he had a leader skill of extreme physical type, P plus four, HP and attack and defense plus 100%, and then super physical type, T plus two and HP and attack and defense plus 70%. So after his extremes of the awakening, um, he gets uh, another 20% buff. So HP and attack and defense plus 120% instead of 100, and then plus 90% instead of 70% um, for super physical type. So, all right. Before his extremes of the awakening, his super attack, 12 key. Uh, he causes colossal damage to all enemies and recovers 10% HP. And then after extremes of the awakening, causes colossal damage to all enemies and recovers 12% HP. So I did cover this in a previous video, how, you know, they're probably not going to change that much to that super attack. They usually don't when it comes to recovering HP. Don't know why. Um, exactly, but I kind of, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense that they wouldn't change too much because recovering HP is a pretty strong, uh, super attack mechanic. In my opinion, every time I use a unit that recovers HP, it's, it's pretty dominating in whatever event I'm doing. So, um, it, it's, it's definitely a very useful super attack effect on top of that. He's doing damage to all enemies, not just one. So the fact that they changed it from 10% to 12%, I I would have to mostly agree with that. Um, so I do like the fact that they at least increased it a bit. And that, that's 2% is quite a bit. So, but yeah. And then uh, before his Extreme Z Awakening, his 18 key... Ultra super attack, he raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. And then after Extreme Jury Awakening, he greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. So instead of raising attack, he greatly raises attack. So that's not much change there either, but it is definitely an attack boost on his 18 key super attack. So I'll take it. I'll take that. So I, I don't necessarily, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty indifferent about that because it's not much of a difference, but we'll see. We'll see uh, when we look at his passive. So before Extreme Z Awakening, his passive, uh, he has attack and defense plus 90% at the start of the turn, plus an additional key plus one and attack plus 10% per existing enemy. So pretty bare bones. It's not too much there to work with um so let's compare it to after extreme z awakening so after extreme z awakening he has attack and defense plus 120 percent at start of turn so an extra 30 percent buff but he also gets you know plus an additional defense plus 60 percent when performing a super attack so it's looking to me like it the best way to build them is to give them as much additional as possible and the fact that he's a physical unit he has built in additionals already so if you give him max additionals he should be at level 20 additionals if you are able to unlock his bottom right path and his bottom not bottom and his top left path of his hidden potential so that's actually looking pretty good so i like that and then plus an additional defense plus 60 percent if it is an ultra super attack when facing only one enemy now that does seem like a very restrictive part of his passive and it kind of is but there are quite a few events i mean outside of super battle road i mean the ultimate red zone you're only facing one enemy. i well there might be some phases where you face more than one enemy but there are multiple scenarios and situations where you're only facing one enemy and the fact that uh he already has you know part of his passive where he gets extra defense just for, for performing a super attack 
and no other restrictions i mean i would say having this restriction on there with the additional defense also more key that's not i wouldn't say that's a bad thing since they have you know this already attached to his passive so but you can let me know what your thoughts are about that in the comments below for sure but the last part of his passive he gets plus an additional key plus one and attack plus 30 percent per existing enemy so what i like about this part of his passive is that it's it's in synergy it's it's has a lot of synergy with his 12 key super attack right here because in situations where he's facing more than one enemy he's attacking all enemies with his 12 key on top of that he gets a an additional key plus one and attack plus 30 percent per existing enemy so if there's like if he's facing four enemies he gets an extra 120 percent attack that is actually pretty pretty good um i i actually like the way they changed his passive and i feel like he's his build right here is passive and and the way that it synergizes with his 12 key super attack i think it works very very great um and i'm <laughs> As far as what I'm looking at right now, I'm very pleased with the, the changes they made to his kit right here. Um, I wouldn't say he's like super OP or busted by any means, but they made him, uh, you know, an actual viable, strong character or unit that you can use after his easy A, in my opinion, from what we're looking at right here. Obviously, in, in, in any case, when a, a a unit gets their easy a it's it's the best test is to actually use them in different events to see where um they shine and where they may have some difficulties but as far as what we're looking at right now this is definitely um i would say a, a pretty well balanced extreme z awakening in my opinion so but definitely let me know your thoughts about that as well in the comments below is this a balanced extreme z awakening to you is it um do you like the changes that were made to him and i mean do you even have this unit in the first place so i mean it, it's there's there's yeah so but those are my thoughts let me know your thoughts on in the comments below thanks for watching i appreciate y'all we are vibing to 1k so hit that red subscribe and join the vibe until next time bye y'all